Hey guys, it's Kim and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, then welcome. And I would absolutely love it if you would join the Cam Fam, my little beauty community here on YouTube, by hitting that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. So it's the middle of summer right now, and I don't know about you guys, but recently, the humidity has been wreaking havoc on my hair. I've been having to just throw it up in a bun every single time I leave the house, I feel like, and it literally just will not even hold a style. So I wanted to do a review of a product that I heard a lot about, and obviously we've all seen that Kim Kardashian used it and a bunch of other celebrities, but I tend to like not put a lot of stock into celebrity endorsements because they're always like claiming they're using something from the drugstore, even though they're not actually, and I really wasn't that interested in this product until I saw an Instagram account that I'm gonna link down below called Hair to Help. And she's a professional hairstylist in the UK. I follow like a lot of UK models and influencers and stuff. And she basically said she uses this on every photo shoot on every model. And the way that she does hair is just ridiculous. Like she's the most amazing hairstylist I've seen. So that really intrigued me because she did mention that that's a key to like achieving the look that she creates is using this product. And so today I'm gonna to be doing a full in-depth review of the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. So the biggest claim this product makes is being anti-humidity, anti-frizz, and just giving you like really, really sleek, shiny hair. They also tout that it's gonna give you glass-like shine. So I literally just finished on camera using this product on one half of my hair and using a cocktail of Olaplex 6 and 7 on the other side of my hair as a control. I think it's pretty apparent which side I used the Dream Coat spray on, but before you watch any further, leave a comment down below and let me know whether it's the left side or the right side that has the Dream Coat spray in it, because I'm really curious to see if you guys can tell a difference before I let you know which is which. So go leave a comment with your guess right now, and I'm gonna tell you that this is the side with the dream coat in it. And I feel like it made a really, really big difference in my blowout. As you can see, there's just like a ridiculous amount of shine in my hair. It's super, super sleek, super shiny. Like the ends just look so healthy and like I got a professional blowout done. And I blew my hair out the exact same way on this side using the six and seven. And this is the end result. I mean, this is the way my hair just normally looks, but this is like really sleek and shiny. I mean, already the difference just side by side is like, wow. So I'm gonna show you guys my application process with this because when I first started using it, I did not like it and I didn't think it did anything because I used it all wrong. And so I don't know if anyone else has made some of the same mistakes that I did with this. So I'm gonna let you know what I've done wrong with this and what actually helped me get the right result with this. So I'm gonna demonstrate putting the product in and then I'm gonna do a humidity test where I go steam up my bathroom and basically mimic a hot shower and we're gonna see if this product can stand up to really, really high humidity. So if you wanna see a full in-depth review of the Color Wow Dream Coat Spray, then just keep watching. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is a side-by-side -side comparison using the Dream Coat on this side of my hair, and on the other side of my hair, I'm just gonna use like something standard that I've used a lot, which is the Olaplex number six and a couple drops of the Olaplex number seven. This is a really good combo, so we're gonna see how it holds up against something that's tried and true for me. I'm also gonna walk you through how I like to apply this, and part of why it didn't work for me at first is because I really didn't read the directions. I was one of those kids in school where it's like I would kind of just you know, skim the directions and then go straight to answering the question and get it wrong because I didn't read the directions fully. So that's what happened to me the first time that I used this. So according to the directions, you want towel dried hair, which mine is like 80, 90% dry at this point. Um, you definitely don't want it to be like very damp. And usually when I apply my leave-ins, I do it like closer to straight out of the shower rather than letting it dry this much. So that's the first thing I did wrong. So. My hair is pretty dry now. And then you need to spray it liberally onto the hair, like really, really make sure it's coated with it. 
but also not apply any other styling products with it. And that's like the second thing that I did wrong is that I like to cocktail my leave-ins. So I'll combine like a bunch of different leave-ins. And I think when I used this the first time, I put Olaplex number six in my hair and then figured I would put this on top of it. And yeah, that was a bad idea apparently. So I'm just gonna go in with just this. That's the way you're supposed to do it on the right side of my hair here. What I'm gonna do is try to get it like underneath too. And just really not be shy and cut my hair with it. And you can kind of feel like once you've got it in your hair because I feel like it does affect the texture a little bit in that it does feel like very sealing and very silky and nice right now. So I would say I have it pretty well evenly covered. I also found that you can definitely spray this a little closer to the root and get away with that. Um, it's really just gonna help any of those like frizzies that happen around your roots, really. And then on the other side, I'm just gonna use a little dollop of the number six. That might even be too much because normally I use this for my whole head. And this is a little weird for me because I normally put this in my hair when it's a little damper just because I feel like it helps the spreadability of it. But it's okay, it's gonna work as a good control. Um, I just really don't wanna blow dry my hair with nothing in it, cause that would be so, so bad for it. So that's why I'm kind of having something very predictable for me as a control. And then just literally like two drops of the number seven oil. This is just for like a little added heat protection. So next I'm gonna section my hair and blow dry it according to the directions. Now you do want to like use some sort of blow dryer with tension because that's what really helps the product to like smooth out the hair and it's heat activated. So you're really not gonna be able to get around doing that. Now I do recommend trying to at least use like a hot air brush, if not like a blow dryer and a brush because I feel like just finger drying your hair with a blow dryer doesn't provide that tension that this product needs to like really make your hair sleek. So I'm gonna use a hot airbrush and if you wanna see a video a little more in depth on how I like to do a blowout using this, then I'm gonna link it up here for you guys. But I'm just gonna fast forward through this so that we can get to the end result. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this difference, but I mean, even in the way that it felt when I was blow drying my hair, there was a huge, huge difference in just how easily it straightened, how easily it ran through the brush, and I mean, the end result. Like when I did the first couple passes um, on the color wow side, it was just like intense shine, as opposed to like this side, which still just kind of looks dull and frizzy. And I don't know if you can see the difference in my ends. So. Obviously I'm blow drying it the same exact way, but these ends just like aren't, you know, clumping together. They just kind of still look frazzled where this looks like, I mean, professional like salon blowout. Like I just came out of the salon. It's like sleek, smooth, and normally I can't even really get this result by myself using the hot airbrush. So yeah, that's a really big difference already. I just feel like everything is like laying exactly where I want it to here and is staying perfectly styled and this is just kind of like having a mind of its own. So I will say one thing that I do notice with it, um, and it's not even necessarily like right by the root, but just in general, is that even though it's made my hair feel sleeker, smoother, shinier and all that, I do feel like it does come at a slight cost of volume 
end not only at the root because like as you can see I really like to do this kind of like bank flip I can still get that volume here with it but I just feel like my hair feels very vacuumed and compressed and almost like there's a little less of it than on this side this side definitely feels fuller and thicker where this side does feel a little thinner and like there's less hair here so now what I want to do is what I'm sure you guys are all here for, and that's the humidity test. So what I'm going to do is switch over to filming on my phone because I don't want to damage my camera doing this. And I'm going to go into my bathroom and like really steam it up. Like I'm taking a hot shower. Now I'm not going to jump in the shower. I'm just going to show you guys the fogginess of the mirrors, the humidity in there. And we're going to see how both sides of my hair hold up. So let's go do that. All right guys, so I'm in my bathroom right now and I'm letting it get steamy in here. You guys will be able to see on this mirror when it actually is steamy. Um, but again, this is the like Color Wow Dream Coat side, very silky right now. This is just the other side, freshly blown out, already looking pretty messed up. So I also have a little thingy right here that like it tells you what the humidity is so we started off at like 47 percent when i first walked in here so i'm gonna let it climb definitely into wet territory right now it's in comfort still which is like normal uh, so you guys will be able to see the exact humidity and i'm gonna let it get crazy in here and we're gonna see how this holds up it's already getting a little hot but you'll see like when the mirror fogs that's when i'm gonna check it out all right guys, so as you can see, the mirror behind me is almost entirely fogged up and my little handy dandy thingy says 79% humidity right now. We're gonna hit 80 really soon. We're in wet territory. Oh, we just hit 80% humidity. And what I wanna do now is like run my hands through my hair because that's really gonna let like the humidity get in there. I mean, you can already see this side is like not doing so hot. So this is the dream coat side and this is the other side and I mean this really does not look cute on this side where this is still like I would go out looking like this. I gotta do something about this side right now. And just to show you guys we've officially hit 85% humidity and I'm out because it's really steamy in here. Okay, so I'm back from doing the humidity test and that was brutal. I let it get to 85% humidity in my bathroom as y'all saw and now I'm back in the air conditioning, thankfully. And this is the dream coat side and this is the regular side. So we're not looking cute. I don't know what I'm going to do about that side and the dream coat side. I mean, like really my bangs maybe got a little bit messed up. But that's why, like I said, to definitely make sure you do bring this closer to the root because if you don't, your root's going to get frizzy and the rest of your hair is going to be sleek. So unless you want to go for that look and really like want to keep a lot of volume at the root, um, I don't see it as a problem to apply it close to the root. It's really just going to help keep all the frizzies at bay. So big difference. I mean, this still has shine, especially back in like the AC. It kind of like reseals and gets better feeling so this side shiny frizz free i mean come on and this is like the uh control side that i'm gonna need to deal with so final thoughts on this product i mean like it really really works to fight humidity give you sleek hair give you like a lot of shine i mean i can't like I didn't put any shine oil or anything in my hair. It's just really, really shiny. So ultimately, I really do feel like it does what it claims, which is to fight humidity and frizz and all that stuff. One claim that I will say I don't feel like it lives up to is the fact that they claim it will last through three to four shampoos. So when I used this recently and got this result all over my hair and was like ecstatic, I expected it to last three to four shampoos and if not then to just like gradually wash out but I feel like the next time that I washed my hair which I'm using the Olaplex shampoo like every time I wash my hair now I felt like it completely washed out so I really do feel like the results are a one-time use thing and you have to keep reapplying it to get this result I really didn't see any staying power like past the next shampoo sadly because otherwise I really feel like it would be like they claim which is like a mini keratin treatment i really feel like it does give you that like keratin treatment result but 
If you have to use this like every single time you wash your hair, then it's gonna get pricey. Now I do have like the 1.7 fluid ounce travel size of this, which was only $12, but to get like the regular size, which is 6.7 ounces, is $28. So it's not the most expensive product, and I think they have a value size where if you buy 16.9 fluid ounces, it's 58. And that looks like it'll last through quite a bit of uses. But the reasons why I wouldn't really opt to use this every day is A, because I can't really use any other like styling leave-ins on damp hair, which I use a lot of like reparative ones like the Olaplex, which even though it doesn't really hold up to humidity and stuff like that, really does work to repair the hair. So I would miss out on that if I use this every single time I wash my hair. And also sometimes like this is just not a lot of volume. So I really wouldn't recommend this product if you do feel like you're suffering from a lack of volume, if you feel like your hair is very fine, very flat, this is just gonna exacerbate that. And that's not to say that like, it feels like there's anything in the hair. The hair itself feels weightless. I don't feel like anything is like coating it or anything like that. It just feels like my hair, but just silky. So it's not like I can feel a heavy product in my hair, but the way that this works, it just does like kind of vacuum the hair and just, seal it and definitely make it like less voluminous. So ultimately it works, but I do feel like it doesn't last through shampoos. If it did, then I would be a lot more likely to use this and exactly try to use it every like third or fourth shampoo, but it really doesn't make it past like the next shampoo. So that's why I'm really only going to reserve this for when the weather outside is just horrible and I know that like no style will hold or if it's a special occasion or something where I really need my hair to look super shiny, super nice. I mean, as you can see, my hair has been pretty damaged recently because I went and got low lights and then I also went into a vacant property with fleas and ended up getting fleas on myself. So I had to use like dog flea shampoo and that just like wrecked my hair. So my hair is really, really damaged and this is doing a really good job of like covering up that damage. So if you feel like you need a really quick fix for your hair as well and just something that's gonna kind of instantly make it look healthy, even if it doesn't necessarily feel healthy, then that's also a really good use for this product. So if you guys felt like this video was helpful, then please hit that like button down below it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm and it helps to grow my small channel. And if you're wondering what to watch next, then here's two more videos by me that you can definitely check out. And if you haven't already, then click on my face right here to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.